Hi friends, the next topic is dynamic action in Apex. So in Oracle Apex, let's go to our application. In the department form, suppose we create a button. So I do create button. Just name it and execute and in the button we will say defined by dynamic action okay now in the SQL navigator we'll we'll create a table create table debug which will have one field create this table they will create it now we'll go to dynamic action click will create a dynamic action name is execute and in the true action we'll say execute PL SQL code and in the PL SQL code we will insert into debug into debug values hello from dynamic action ok so let's save this button and we have to select the button execute so our dynamic action will execute on click of a button so let's set this now let's run this form so we have a button execute we click on this button and then in in sql navigator we just created the table we'll select start from hello from DA so that is printed so basically in the dynamic action when you create a dynamic action you have so many events like change click double click double tap get focus key down key press key release lose focus mouse button press mouse button release mouse enter mouse mouse enter, mouse leave, mouse move, page load, page unload, pan, press, resize, resource load, scroll, select, swipe, tap, after refresh, before page submit, before refresh, dialog close, data selected, event selected, view changed, facet change, mode change, page change, report change, row initialization, save, selection change, view change, update markdownified change order or custom event so these are the different event where you can uh, uh, write dynamic action and based on the event we will have a selection type in our case we have a selection type button and then we have to select a button which button we have to uh, select so on click of execute button we are executing PL SQL code there are so many options where what you can do in the in the true action like clear close region collapse tree disable enable expand tree hide reopen region refresh set focus set value show execute javascript code execute PL SQL code cancel even cancel dialog close dialog submit page alert confirm add class remove class set style all this you can do in the action and depending upon the action you have to write the PL SQL code or javascript code 
so this is how you can create dynamic action in oracle apex for any dynamic action uh, for any uh, action we don't have triggers in oracle apex but instead of triggers like in forms we have different triggers which uh, fire on a particular event similarly in oracle apex we have dynamic action which fires on different event and we can take different action based on the event that's about dynamic action thanks friends see you in the next session